From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. And from Thursday until the start of December, you must stay at home. But for now, I'm afraid you must once again stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. Thank you all very much. With the United Kingdom at a halt, with friends and loved ones apart, this documentary will identify how this horrible deadly disease has affected people around me in my household in multiple different ways. With this documentary, I have questioned people in my household on how the lockdowns we are facing as a country has affected them in several ways. How has the global pandemic affected your working environment and employment? I was actually furloughed right through to July, so it affected my work environment quite immensely. Because whereas I was working in an office, call centre, and then coming home and not being able to work for a number of months um, was quite quite strange. So obviously up until July and then we were asked to go back into the office and then there were the restrictions in place of where to sit, which direction you had to walk in. It was very, very strange indeed. And then we went into lockdown again, only this time we were asked to take the equipment from the office home with us. So we had to take all our computers, our headset, the telephones and set up at home. So again, the first couple of weeks was a bit surreal. So it was, it was a struggle to start with and then you had to rely on all the technology to work and to connect. But eventually you got yourself into a routine and it did work and it is now still continuing to work until we can go back into the offices again. How has the global pandemic affected your working environment and employment? Because I work in a charity shop. It is a non-essential shop, so the government decided to shut them down, which has affected me because I don't get to see my friends from the shop during this pandemic. I keep in touch with them, but it's not the same as actually seeing them face to face. How has your lifestyle and well-being been affected throughout the pandemic? Well, my lifestyle's changed, that's for sure. Um, I know it's not going to be forever, but uh, it's certainly been a challenge. In fact, to be honest with you, it's been quite positive. I mean, my health's been good. The lockdowns haven't been as bad as what I expected them to be. How has your lifestyle and well-being been throughout the lockdown? On occasions, I've really struggled because of it's been the winter months, you can't do anything in the garden. Also, with the shop shut, I haven't been able to do my voluntary work, which I really enjoy doing. But, hopefully, now that I've had my first Covid jab, I do feel a lot better about going out. And hopefully, once the government decide when we can go back to work, and I get my second Covid jab, life will get back to some sort of normality for me. With the new Covid-19 vaccine rollout, which will hopefully put life back to normal, it makes life in my household more optimistic. This is because it seems to be the end of the Covid-19 pandemic. At the moment of making this documentary, everybody in my household is currently vaccinated and we're all hopeful that the Covid pandemic will be over soon. With currently 24 million and 43,956 people fully vaccinated, this brings more hope that the Covid-19 pandemic will come to an end and everybody safe with their families and loved ones.